so if you go to my um, donut recipe on my channel you have under the description box where I gave you a guide this is what you see there you see that I I used 240 grams flour 6.2 gram instant yeast however what I wrote there was actually two teaspoon yeast so on this side this is how I had stated my recipe if you've not seen it you can go this was my formula right there so you will see that for some of the ingredients I did not even put the metric weight I was using the volume which was like tablespoon teaspoon um, teaspoon and all that so what you need to do is just to get a uh, you know a volume to metric conversion table which I was talking about earlier on whereby you just see okay how much does one tablespoon of um, butter weigh in metric and I'll give you like 15 gram and from there all you need to do is just to do the mathematics so if you see right here butter was one tablespoon is 15 gram and I had used two tablespoon butter so it's somewhat like you know 28 or 30 grams so this was what I found this conversion was what I found online but when I was using it this was what I used so I used one one tablespoon of butter to be 14.2 gram so it just depends on you knowing what gram what in gram was the formula talking about so this is the recipe on my on my channel and I rightly went ahead and converted it to grams so let me get a clean sheet so you would see what I'm talking about so you have for seven servings which was what my donuts was all about one serve of course a seven is just one piece of donuts and then under that you have you have a um, 240 gram flour, 6.2 grams of instant yeast, 28.4 grams of butter, 136 grams of milk, 27 grams of water, 18 grams of sugar 0.59 grams of nutmeg don't worry we will address this point and points later on 2.1 grams of vanilla extract 1.4 grams of salt and 50 grams of egg so when you do or uh, when you sum it up what you have as a total weight will give you 509.69 gram so this is the total weight for my recipe that gives me um, seven serving so my dough after I put everything together weighed 509.69 grams now the questions that I had asked us before when trying to scale up so let's say for instance I'm trying to scale up this recipe I'm trying to increase it from seven servings to make like 12 servings that's a, a dozen of donuts what I will do is this these are the questions I'm going to be asking myself. Let me take another sip. So I'm going to say to myself, converting seven servings to 12 servings of donuts.
So the first question we had to ask ourselves is, what is the original total weight? We already did that. The original total weight was 509.69 grams. So I'm just going to write original total weight equals 509.69 grams. Now, this total weight, what was the original total seven, servings? So original total servings gave us seven servings. The next question is, what is the original weight of each of the servings? Remember, I said that would just be you dividing this total servings by seven, seven, this total weight by the number of total servings. That's five zero nine six point six nine grams divided by seven, and this will give us when you punch in your calculator five zero. 9.69 divided by 7 that will give you about 72.81 now you will see that I'm not rounding off my decimal points because I don't want to uh, over I don't want to shoot above the recipe at the end of all my calculation is when I would sum up like round off my decimal point. For now, I'm still working with this, the two decimal points. Now, the next question is, what is the desired total servings you want to make? This will equals to 12 servings. The next question is, what would be the desired total weight of our dough this will rightly be this number of servings times the total weight times the um, original weight of each servings and if you do that summing up it will give you about 12 times 72.81 that will give you 873.72 gram. So we've gotten the total weight that we'll be needing if we are to make 12 sevens of donuts. The next thing will now be for us to look for the ratio of scaling for scaling up to get that desired sevens to desired servants the formula that you'll be using now is you're going to divide this this 573.72 by the total weight of the original dough that you saw so that is 873.72 divided by 509.69 when you put that in, what you'll be having is 873.72 divided by 509.69. That'll give you 1.71. So that's the ratio. So you're going to be using this ratio to multiply every of this gram for you to be able to determine the amount of flour you'll be needing the amount of yeast you'll be needing the amount of butter you'll be needing and so on for you to be able to make 12 servings of donuts so that's what we're going to go ahead now to do and then the next thing you're going to be doing is what is the desired each ingredient 
wait. So for flour, you're just going to go ahead and do four to 40 grams, which is the original um, grams of flour that I used for seven servings. Multiply that by 1.71, which is the ratio. This will give us 410.4 gram. For instance, yeast, 6.2 grams, which is the original weight of the gram that, of the yeast that I use, multiply by this ratio. So give you 10.602 gram. So I'll go ahead and do the rest for the rest of the ingredients and then we'll Continue from there. Butter. So I've gone ahead and done the mathematics, like multiplying each of the ingredients by the ratio, which will give you all this total. So this is where I become, you know, I decide to round off all this decimal plate, all the decimal numbers, round it up so that it will be easier for me to measure because when you're using your main, some weighing skill, you don't have point something grams, point something grams. So this is where I go in and then I approximate it, I round it up. So 410.4, that is approximately 410 grams of flour. This is 6 greater than 5, so I just do 11 grams. This is 5, so I just do 49 grams. For this, this is approximately 233 grams. So anything 5 and above, I round that up to 1. So 46.17, that is approximately 46 grams. 30.78, that is approximately 31 gram. That's correct, you got it. 1.00, that's approximately 1 gram. 3.591, that is approximately 4 grams. 2.39, that is approximately 2 grams. 85.5 grams, approximately 86 grams. So these are what you'll be needing for each of the recipe to make 11, um, to make 12 servings of donuts. So now just to cross check and make sure that all the sum total of this desired weight of each of the ingredients is equals to this 873.72 grams that we had you know mentioned before so the next thing for us to now do is to sum up all this and make it at least 873.72 a little above you know 0 0.1 0 0.3 but it should be close to this total gram so for the total gram of this original recipe so this is the original recipe which made us which made seven servings the total was 509.69 grams that was the total now for our new conversion or adjustment if you go ahead and sum up all of them 410 plus 11 plus 49 plus 233 plus 46 plus 31 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 86 
it will give you it gave me 873 so you see 873 grams now what we calculated because of all those decimal points and all those stuff before was 873.72.72 however now if we have everything up we got 873 which is very close to 873.72 gram so this is the total of what you'll be needing to make 12 sevens i hope this helps you and you get creative with this you can just practice like i said you need to practice 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 and you do not need to cram all these questions for you to ask before you convert the recipes i'm going to leave all those questions and the formulas beside in the description section you can go ahead write it out on a jotter or write it out on a piece of paper and just clip it to your refrigerator i still do that i still have that i don't have to carry it in my head all i have to do is when i find a recipe that i like and i want to be creative and i want to adjust or when i want to scale up or scale down my own recipe this is what i do so i hope that i've been able not to bore you to death but to make this an overview and to really show you how to scale up the recipe in our next episode i'll be discussing the other common ways of scaling up or scaling down a recipe or a baking um, formula which is the baker's percentage so until next time when i see you bye enjoy your day